gamers, Tony here from the Smartphone Nation. I'm back with another hardware video. As you know, we not only cover all smartphone hardware and software, but we also talk about anything that's mobile on this channel. And if you've watched our channel in the last couple days, you've seen a comparison video of the two Chromebooks I recently picked up for my wife and I. And I have mine right here. It's the Acer C7 Chromebook. And as you can see, it's got the little Chrome Google symbol on it there. And basically, what I'm going to be doing, and the reason I chose the Acer over the Samsung model, is because this model is upgradable. And so, as you know, it comes with a uh, dual core processor and 2 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, as well as a 320 gigabyte uh, standard SATA hard drive. And one of the things I want to do is put a solid state drive in this and also upgrade the RAM. And so I'm going to show you how to do this today in this video, and I hope you enjoy it. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we need before we start the upgrade. Alright, so uh, first of all, I want to apologize for not using sexy wood grain like uh, Rich does. I do have wood grain, but it can't compare to Rich's, so I'm just going to use this uh, white table here. But anyways, here's everything that you need to get started with your Acer 7 or Acer C7 Chromebook upgrade and uh, basically we have obviously the Acer C7 Chromebook here we have a uh, solid state drive RAM and a memory sticker SD card One of either of the two will work you need a sharp knife and uh, also a Phillips head screwdriver I have a couple here to make sure I have the right size now you'll notice all this stuff I'm using here is Kingston that's because I've been reviewing Kingston products for some time now I'm going to put links in e for each of these in the description below. Uh, incredibly reliable SSD drives, RAM, and uh, memory sticks. I haven't had any issues, and I mean zero issues with them, since I started reviewing them over six months ago. I have a solid state drive from Kingston in every one of my home computers, and I give them my highest recommendation. So that's why I'm using Kingston. So let's take a look at these parts in a little bit more detail. Um, I do want to mention, yeah, this is the... Uh, seven millimeter SSD drive um, a little bit bigger size will fit in this computer but the seven millimeter is what uh, is going to be the perfect fit without taking out any padding now obviously this is for a Windows based laptop this is the SSD now 300 you can do a it comes with the casing and everything to actually transfer um, you know to a new hard drive uh, from a standard laptop hard drive but the Chromebook works a little bit different, so we're just going to be doing a little bit different method. But uh, yeah, 240 gigabyte SSD drive. We're actually downgrading from 320 gigabytes to 240, but that's because we're putting in a solid state drive and not, um, you know, not the standard spinning hard drive that's in that. I also have uh, the Kingston RAM here. This is the HyperX uh, series. It's 8 gigabytes of DDR3 and, and two 4 gigabyte sticks. Uh, the Chromebook will actually, even though it's a 32 bit system, because the architecture will actually support 16, the Acer Chromebook will, but I'm putting in 8. And then uh, this is a Kingston Data Traveler Ultimate, 3 gigabytes, uh, 64. I'm sorry, three, USB 3.0, 64 gigabyte uh, memory stick. And so I'll be using that for the upgrade. And so I'll show you what all this is for. Let's go ahead and fire up the Chromebook and I'll show you what the next step is. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and fire up your Chromebook and put in your memory stick. There's also an SD card slot up front here um, if you want to use SD card instead, but I prefer to use memory stick. You want to put that in there because we have to create a backup image of this hard drive in the Chrome OS software so we can back it up and put it onto our new SSD drive. So fire up your Chromebook and go ahead and put this in and then the next step is we're actually going to make the backup image. Alright so I hope you can see this okay we're actually zoomed in here on the screen but you're actually going to go into your Chrome browser in Chrome OS and you're going to type in Chrome colon backslash backslash image burner Chrome colon backslash backslash image burner in the URL bar it will take you to this page and say USB memory stick detected. All files on the memory stick will be erased and you simply hit OK and within 10 minutes you have a complete backup of your operating system. That's it. After we're done you want to go ahead and shut down your Chromebook. Take the memory stick out once it prompts you to do that and we're ready to dissect the unit to put in the new RAM and solid state drive. Alright so we have the Acer C7 Chromebook turned upside down and it's been completely powered off. 
The next thing you want to do is you just put a little screwdriver in this hole. You pull it over to the right and pop your battery out. You want to make sure your battery is completely out of the system and you can set that aside. The next thing you want to do is take this knife and do this at your own risk. I'm not responsible for anything you do after this step, but there's a little sticker here that says if seal is broken, warranty is void. Um, and I've heard a lot of people say that it's only for people upgrading the processor or changing the processor, but for people who are doing RAM and solid state drive, it's not a big deal. But like I said, advance at your own risk. That's why you have your knife here, you just kind of scrape the sticker off. So. After that, there's one screw right here, and you use your uh, tiny Phillips head and just uh, begin to unscrew that screw. All right, so after taking the screw out, what we're going to do is uh, you want to put your thumbs up here, apply a little pressure to the bottom, and just begin to slide, and it will un unlatch from its panels. And there we go, the Acer C7 Chromebook is open with just uh, one screw. So what we have here on the inside that we see immediately is we have our RAM slots. There's two on top of each other. And then we also have the hard drive. And we're gonna go ahead and replace both of these. So let's get started with that. First thing we're gonna do is pop out the RAM by just pulling back the latches. And you want to do that for both slots. And the other one is right here. So here's the other RAM slot. There's nothing in it, duh. There's only two gigabytes right here. I'm going to put that to the side. Next, we're going to take our Kingston HyperX RAM. We're going to place both slots in the memory slots. So let's go ahead and you want to make sure they're firmly seated in like that at an angle. And then you press down so they lock in place. I'm going to go ahead and lock in the other one. RAM is super simple to upgrade and so both HyperX uh, PNP RAM slots are locked in. Now we have 8, gigabyte, 8, eight gigabytes of Kingston RAM in our Chromebook. And I will show you once we fire it back up how to make sure that the 8 gigabyte is installed correctly and readable within Chrome. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is take out our standard spinning um, SATA hard drive and replace it with our solid state drive. And so it's just kind of resting in down there. So you want to stick a little screwdriver down on the side and gently lift it out. And then there's these two brown pins. holding in the cable and you want to pop those out gently always be very gentle and take your time with this and the cable will come undone and we're ready to replace the hard drive as you'll notice um, obviously this isn't a part of a standard SATA hard drive it's an adapter that works with the Chromebook so we want to make sure that we remove uh, this screw and this screw to take that adapter off. We're going to transfer it to our Kingston solid state drive and then reinstall the ribbon and the drive. So I'm going to go ahead and take my Phillips head screwdriver. Go ahead and take this off. A couple quick easy uh, screw turns there. and the adapter easily pulls off. So I'm going to set that hard drive aside. Try to be careful not to touch anything in the center there. As you'll notice the adapter end is the exact same the SATA adapter there. We're going to go ahead and slide that in. Make sure it locks strongly into place and our screw holes align. I'm going to go ahead and replace the screws. So what I love about these SSD drives, no moving parts, I don't have to worry about what I touch down here, at least in my knowledge, so maybe I'm wrong. Just quickly put those screws in.
easily securing the adapter in place. Okay, now that I have my Kingston solid state drive into my adapter here, I'm going to line the ribbon back up. And what you want to do is make sure these uh, little black contacts are pulled all the way out. You want to slide your ribbon in, and there's a black line. The end of the contact receiver should go almost all the way to the black line. That's how you know it's in right, and no contact should be seen. Then you want to gently push back down on the locks. You have to press each side a couple of times gently. And what that does is it locks it into place. You almost need to press them down together. And there you can see my ribbon is tight. You don't want to obviously pull hard. It's not coming out. It's not going anywhere. I'm going to gently place my Kingston solid state drive back down into the receiving compartment. This is why you definitely want the seven millimeter. Yep. There is some foam in there so you may have to press just a little bit to get it to lock down in there. Once it's down in there you're all set and ready to go, ready to replace the cover. You want to make sure your ribbon is in good shape and you should be good to go to replace the cover. Okay, now we're ready to go ahead and take our cover and put it back on. So you just want to kind of gently slide it up here. Now once you get it in place, you just put a little bit of pressure on the front and slide it back. And you'll actually hear it lock and it'll be nicely seated all the way around. You want to make sure you have your screw that goes in the screw hole here. And you can simply screw that back in. Maybe. <laughs> I'm having trouble, but that's okay. I've got these giant hands, and it's not always an easy task. Not always an easy task when you're working with these uh, small, minuscule computer parts, but that's okay. There we go. I got it. All right, then we're going to go ahead and replace our battery. Simply slide that into place and hopefully everything fits and works well together. And now we're ready to power it on and restore our software. Alright, so the first thing we see when we turn on the Chromebook after the upgrade is we see Chrome OS is missing or damaged. Please insert a recovery USB stick. And we have our Kingston Data Traveler Ultimate 3.0 USB 3.0 G3. Even though the Acer doesn't have USB 3.0, we're going to pop it into the 2.0 slot over here. That's why it's important, even with Chromebook, to have a backup here. So I'm inserting it. It's reading it. It's getting blurry. says you're about to recover your computer make sure it's plugged into a power source which mine isn't but that's okay because I have it charged all the way it says if you want to cancel recovery press the power button and hold it down until the computer turns off it can take up to eight seconds it's safe to do this at any time during verification and so it's saying verifying the integrity of your recovery media so we're gonna let it do its thing so after it verifies the media which takes about 10 minutes it will then go into a system recovery and it says simply it only takes a couple minutes and then all of a sudden system recovery is complete it says remove the media which I removed the Kingston drive and it automatically restarts and here we go we're booting up into Chrome There we go, and it goes right to the startup screen. Just showing you a little bit here of the laptop. I simply go ahead and select my network and get started. And there we go, we have upgraded to a solid state drive from the standards 320 gigabyte uh, moving parts drive or SATA drive that comes in the Acer C7 Chromebook and up to 8 gigabytes of RAM. 
we do want to verify obviously the solid state drive is verified it's working I am going to show you real quick how to verify the RAM let me go ahead and get into the system and then I'll show you that part okay now that we're inside the system you can see everything is running properly looking good I'm gonna go ahead and open up the browser you gotta remember in Chrome everything is based out of the browser we're gonna to go to Chrome colon backslash backslash uh, system hit enter there will take you to all this information and you simply scroll down So you see mem info and then hit expand and you will see it verified that we now have 8 gigabytes of RAM mem total 82 44 516 kilobytes which is 8 gigabytes of random access memory and there we have it we have successfully upgraded the Acer C7 Chromebook from a 320 gigabyte moving parts SATA drive to a 240 gigabyte solid state drive and we've also upgraded from 2 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM to 8 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM and it hasn't even taken us that long it's a fairly simple upgrade everything's running smoothly uh, Google did a great job providing backup and um, restore processes uh, you always want to make sure you keep a backup of your Chromebook around in case your hard drive ever dies and there you have it. I definitely recommend the Kingston RAM and SSD Now solid state drive for this upgrade. And also the Kingston memory stick as well. They are very reliable and you won't be disappointed. You can click below in links to buy this Chromebook and all three of those uh, Kingston products as well. This has been Tony from the Smartphone Nation. Thanks for joining me for this upgrade. Hope you are having a great day. Make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.